morning y'all back again for another vlog you guys are gonna be tuning in with what a day looks like with me as you know i'm currently in school i'm doing online today mondays and wednesday we're on campus but tuesdays and thursdays we're actually online from 9 a.m to 4 p.m and yeah let's get into it so for those of you who don't know yet, I'm currently in school to become licensed as a massage therapist. I decided to go to school for this because I currently suffer from long-term injuries that I never actually recovered from. When everything I'm learning in school right now, I plan to apply this in my craft and everyday life and hopefully to extend my career as a b-boy since it's such a demanding activity for your body. But along the long run, I plan to also heal close friends and family and overall just provide services for my community here back home. Yo, 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 so it is now lunchtime. It is about noon and I'm ready to eat but before I eat I definitely want to put in a workout I uh, treat a meal like it's supposed to be rewarded like what gives you the reason why you can eat this just to be more disciplined with myself and just not you know eat and let myself go because during these times you know there's not really anything to look forward to so the best thing we can do for ourselves really is to just maintain and keep our structure keep our build and stay healthy as much as possible so i'm gonna do a little workout catch up from one of my favorite restaurants here in town. It's called Snow City Cafe. And today I ordered myself a vegan scramble. Get some energy, get prepared for the PM portion of school. And yeah, let's eat. Halfway done with school for today. We got a few more hours left. It's about to be 12.45 and class ends at four. So let's power through this. I get through the day by having my cold brew. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, stick around for later. We're gonna get some training in. Also, I'm gonna answer some questions from people that had asked me some stuff on social media. So yeah, we'll get right into that, but let's power through the rest of the day. And yeah, stay strong everybody, stay healthy, and you'll get through your day too. Peace. Okay, four o'clock, what a day. As you can tell, it's a little darker now. Um, class is over. I gotta run some errands, I'll take you guys with me. Check out a fantastic evening in Alaska real quick. Nice and white. Snowed a little bit last night. And yeah, let's get going. Check it out. Uh, we're gonna go straight into these questions that I was asked for my Motivation Mondays that I put up on my story and uh, if you guys have had a chance to ask me something, yeah, please do. I do it every Monday. I pick out some questions that I feel like are gonna be a dope topic to talk about and will be relatable to everybody. So yeah, here goes. The first question is from David Jack. And he asked, I don't know what to eat before training. What do you recommend? Um, I recommend not eating at all before you train. Uh, unless you eat like three hours before that or more doing that I feel like I'm a lot lighter and You definitely want to go to practice feeling light You don't want to go to practice feeling like you're heavy because of what you just ate, you know See what works for you, you know, everybody's body's different Whatever works for you works for you 
it won't work for me it won't work for anybody else you got to figure out what works for your body and that comes with trial and error and experience and yeah that's how i would answer that question so good question david jack for the next question username i am barcian i hope i'm pronouncing that right he said what do you recommend me to do in each training session all right so first and foremost you gotta ask yourself what you're trying to achieve first you really want to plan your days out too like monday all i'm gonna do is top rock nothing else tuesday only footwork wednesday only power moves friday drills etc get creative and the more you break down your um, weaknesses too you'll definitely see more improvement all right so we're gonna move on to the next question this is from josh k also known as the person who runs the b-boy network he's out there filming jams shout out c for doing all that man um what motivates you to push through the rest of the year and beyond during this pandemic great question and i feel like everybody is going through this right now you know what's motivating them through these tough times what motivated me was to find another career path that I feel like I could put the same amount of love and passion into and excel at that and me knowing that I have another career path lets me know that dancing is just gonna be a plus in my life right don't get me wrong I love dancing it's still my number one passion but I have something else to look forward to in order for me to keep my life going life is before anything else you got to take care of your life before you can take care of anything else you know you got to save yourself before you could save anyone else or anything else that's happening in your life me knowing that and knowing that this is going to be a short-term sacrifice for a long-term kind of thing that's going to last for a while to me that really motivates me to wake up every single day know that i gotta get this done and when all this is done boom good now i still have dance no worries i don't gotta worry about oh man i gotta win this jam to pay my bills bro you know like for me that's scary i don't ever want that for myself so what motivates me is knowing that i'm going to have a career that's gonna let me do what i love to do freely without any worries without any pressure you know so to answer your question josh and that was a very good question uh that's how i would say it and yeah man for people that are watching this right now let me know how you're getting through this pandemic all right that was a waste of time i guess uh apple is closed till further notice i should have called but my issue could wait um my battery is just not functioning properly it, everything still works on my laptop my uh my battery just dies quickly but that could all wait so i guess it's time to head back home and let's get some practice going all right catch you guys then yo yo what up everybody we're back at the crib again i'm about to get practice going here in a little bit and today during my training i just want to work on footwork text we're gonna run that and i'm just gonna mix more of that up into my actual rounds you know a lot of people that i see do a lot of power moves they're doing more power tricks and everything else and not really adding traditional leg steps so we're gonna work on that and just making everything flow into one and also making sure most importantly that we're doing everything to the music and also stick around because I'm gonna show you guys a couple tips with some footwork that you could do to help expand your vocabulary down there and yeah man stay tuned we're gonna get started and yeah if you're practicing at home too hope you have a good practice get the award for stiffest shoes of the year I'll tell you that so you know I'm gonna switch to switch to the dizzy threads shout out dizzy for making this happen for our community check them out they're mad comfortable feel like you're wearing nothing
Yo, yo, what up? So that was my practice for today. I um, practiced a little bit of footwork and I definitely felt like doing that more than anything else today. I kind of listened to my body and it seemed like footwork was the move today. I wasn't really feeling that energetic, but I still pushed through and I still did what I can today and I feel all right. And yeah, so to end off today's vlog, I just want to say thank you for making it this far. If you watched the whole thing, now I'm going to give you guys a little tip in footwork. So this is something that really helped for me. It helped me along my journey. I don't like to do anything that's completely structured from beginning to end. I may have a little signature I throw in and flow in between everything, but from beginning to end, I like to always switch it up. That's something that I believe in. That's something that I was taught. And that's just something that feels good for me. And uh, overall, feels like that's the most authentic thing that I can do on the dance floor. I wanna teach you guys a little trick that will help expand your vocabulary in your footwork. And you can use this on all levels. It doesn't have to be just footwork in particular. So I call this a stop and go. So basically if you're, you catch yourself in any angle, let's say your basic crossover, boom, right? So when you do a crossover, what I like to think is, okay, let's stop and let's think of the angle. So you could either use your right leg to stop or your left leg to stop. For now, I'm gonna use my right leg. So pretend your right leg is just glued to the ground, right? Like think, what can you do here? And for me, off the spot, without even thinking, I'm just gonna go boom, back hook right here, right? So that right there already set me up for something. And as I keep my right leg there, we're still keeping the concept. Boom, 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 boom. You see that? There's a lot of things that just went on by me not even lifting up my leg. So yeah, play around with that. That's just a little footwork trick that really helped me get creative and evolve my footwork vocabulary. And just think about it. You have so many angles you can do. Imagine all those angles when you just take your time and work at those little angles. You know, you can come up with a lot of things. Take a six step, use every angle of the six step. Now you just like came up with a hundred more steps within a step, if that makes any sense. But yeah, I hope that helps you guys. Let me know below what kind of techniques you use in your practice to help you stay creative and whatnot. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Make sure to stay tuned for my next vlog. Um, also, stay tuned on my IG story. I'm, up, uh, I'm always gonna do the Motivation Mondays and hope to see some more dope questions that uh, everybody can relate to. But yeah, I appreciate you guys, man. If you guys haven't had the chance, please do subscribe, leave a comment, let me know how you felt about this video. And yeah, one love everybody. Stay safe wherever you are in this world. And yeah, man, one love. Thank you so much. Peace.